something I wanted to talk to Wendigoon about. Oh. We can oh. jump in with that. So I've I've I know from your channel you you're very interested in these mystical woodland creatures and things. Very not just woodland all over the place. Of all those you've researched, do any of them at all like trigger a thought in your mind to be like this would be real? Or are you mostly at the end of it like ah, I so, can't buy in? I, I do think that there is a large case for a lot of like ocean creatures for one, right? So I'm going to leave those out of it because that's cheating, right? Okay. Mm, um, okay. As far as like So I, I'm from Eastern Tennessee, right? So mm -hmm. I spend a lot of the time in the woods, do a lot of camping, and there's some there's some weird stuff that goes down you just don't explain. Like just some some noises, some carcasses you find that you're like, this is uh, not right. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm also like, you know, a Christian, a Sunday school teacher. So I also have the thought in my head, like, maybe it's just a demon. That makes me feel better for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if there is any like supernatural or cryptid, so to speak, creature that would exist, I would probably say it would be in line with a lot of mythologies that go along the lines of like the rake or something like that. And I don't think maybe any one specific one of them is real, just maybe like some kind of creature that's unaccounted for, just something yeah. that isn't quite on the record yet. Um, sure. that it, it's it's not an entirely out there, like, you know, Bigfoot with antlers and giant wings. As much as I love the Mothman, probably mm -hmm. not. Um, <laughs> but just something that we're not entirely aware of yet, that, may, that makes yeah. some noise at night that we yeah. don't pay attention to. Yeah. Well, that's I, totally I'm, believable. I'm also like, I also lean toward that, not like the biblical demon, which is a fucking corrupted angel of the Lord, <clears> but like the idea of some sort of like, I don't know, other dimensional fucking weird being that's kind of here, but not really. And like, uh -huh. maybe sometimes it influences our world in some weird way, even if it's just being a cold spot or screaming real loud in the woods. An in-betweener, in so to speak. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Um, I've never seen or heard anything that, that, that I couldn't explain with my ears or eyes one way or another. Um, you know, I, I remember when we were on our little uh, survival trip that time with you, you myself, and Chiz, and Patrick, our cam man, and uh, we heard some people way in the distance being si – I'm going to say they were being silly and partying by a fire. Because that's not terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because what we heard was, Wee! it sounded like there might be some deliverance shit going down, you know? Yeah. Like, like, like they just had, like, fuck the guy or something. Or like, a demon ritual of sorts. You, you never know. But it was so far away. But we're in, like, a some silent Bohemian forest. All you hear is crickets and, you know, all the forest life and, and, and quietness. But so, like, a person's voice in those, those hills, those mountains carry so far. But it was scary. It was... I was glad we had guns. I, I was like, yeah, I'm not worried about it at all. We've got fucking guns. I kind of hope they come over here and start some shit. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> let's go see what they're yelling about. <laughs> you, you better hope that, it, uh, you <laughs> that it's like a physical being. Your guns are going to be nothing against demons. Well, then we've got a cameraman. We're all millionaires now. We're the first, go first ghost hunters to actually find a ghost. The but reason that, that no, if medals if, are going to be on us like Soviet commanders, it's going to be nuts. If we the only we thing we know, the, the only thing we know for sure about ghosts is that if you like see one verifiably, like they probably are going to kill you, right? No, There'd be a lot more people Gamer with Jack better stories. We're the first men to beat up a ghost in the forest mm -hmm. of Georgia, and, <laughs> and our boy Patrick filmed it. We're cutting shiz out of this. It's a union thing. <laughs> <laughs> fucking what he took the fucking he took his tent flap his rain his rain guard and choked the fucking ghost out there was so much cosmic energy imbued in it from his anger earlier that day that he could, he could choke a phantom with it that and makes he, sense, yeah. and we take a we take a True. phantasm like, like prisoner we'd be the first guy so i have no fear of a phantasm or ghost i i, I would love to die that way if someone records it It'd be cool. That's how I'd love to die. It would be I'd cool. like to be attack? taken out a long time from now. Like at 91. I've, there's no way I'm making it to 90. At 71. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing. 71. I think people that are our age, we still do that thing where 70 is so goddamn old. But every day, 70 gets younger, if that makes sense. Like, like the people who will be seven, 70 year olds today 